endling is the word used to denote the last surviving creature of a particular species. When they die, that species becomes extinct. Unable to save them and blind to the irony, we have given our endlings human names as we count them out of the ark. Martha, Benjamin, Celia, George, Passenger Pigeon, Tasmanian Tiger, Pyrenean Ibex, Pinto Island Tortoise. I have taken to counting what I want to call startlings. They are creatures who, sensing their species is facing extinction, feel the cell-tingling impulse to evolve and ensure their survival. Within their tissue and bones, hearts and minds, they enact the necessary transformation. For every endling, there is a startling. They are springing up everywhere, like snowdrops, first flowers of the year. How often do you see a single snowdrop? Don't they grow in drifts, in flocks, and spread across great stretches of land, despite extreme weather and human interference? The light inside drawn to the light outside. This is what they were made for. Startlings too carry this lucid hope, the lodestar of existence. Imagine a stifling ignorance falling away. Tenderness, which is our greatest strength, which is love's most modest form, which is Eros's necessary source, which is the secret title of all poems, which is the rule of life, which is of and in the dove, which is a cow deprived of their young, which is a bruise that never goes away, which is quiet and can't be heard, which has no equal charm, which is a mother's arms, which is diamond incarnate, which is the throat's sweetest music, which is deeper than seduction, which is relentless, which is this life we share, which is a gardener's patience, Crack, rock, and let the soul emerge. Our habit of othering is deep-rooted. Despite myself, I am tricked into othering the future as if it weren't my own and I had no part to play in breathing it into life. I am a startling too. This heart these two hands, these eyes, are startled. I hear rabbits and weasels squealing among the trees behind the house. Lives will be lost. Who wouldn't feel sudden alarm? It is at those who don't, I am surprised, taken aback by the ones who turn away, choose not to notice that creatures and people and plants are dying. I can smell wildfires, floodwaters, wake up with wet cinders on my pillow and rise to wash and begin again. Every day I stumble, struggle, find something to kick against, a wild thing tugging on a chain. But a small light at my core a sequin made from birch bark, knows I am being formed afresh, myself and eight billion other sequins, scales of the lavish, long-lived world fish 
We are ready to plunge. How to translate our endless words into acts of love.